Got a pretty nice looking morning out there. This is our view from the Toyota Tower Cam on top of the red line and we see still a little bit of cloud cover over the valley. That cloud cover was a little bit thicker just a few hours ago and because of that our temperature stayed relatively mild overnight. At the Boise Airport now we're sitting at 69 degrees. Humidity a bit high because we did see a little bit of rain falling in some locations around the valley. Nothing uh, that you really have to worry about. And we do have a bit of a breeze out there out of the west northwest at 13 miles per hour. All of that adding up to some pretty decent uh, air quality. We're just barely uh, in the moderate range right now. Here's what happened in Stanley yesterday. Started out at 37 degrees. Little bit of haze still hanging over parts of the valley and then some clouds moving in in the afternoon. We did see some scattered showers in mountain locations yesterday and that's likely to repeat itself this afternoon as those clouds redevelop late in the day. And we do have just a few showers moving into the central mountains right now. This is the little disturbance that moved through the valley bringing those light showers and that cloud cover. Most of that now clearing out of the valley so we'll start Start the day out with some sunshine, but those clouds will pop up again this afternoon and we have a slight chance of seeing a shower or thunderstorm, not only in the mountains, but that slight chance in valley locations as well. And then the big change comes our way. This cold front that is just to the north of us right now will move in and much cooler air behind that front will really change our weather starting tomorrow. It comes through in the afternoon. will warm into the low 70s early in the afternoon that cold front comes through and that will actually drop our temperatures tomorrow evening and then that cold air really changing things on Friday. We could even see a dusting of snow on some of Idaho's higher mountains by Friday morning. Here's a look at our future cast and here we are uh, this evening around 7 o'clock. You see some showers and thunderstorms in the Twin Falls area. Also the potential of one building up over the Owyhees and those could drift over the valley but again it's only a 20% chance for today and then just as that front moves through tomorrow afternoon a uh, very good chance of some showers and even some thunderstorms not only in the central mountains but in south central and southwestern Idaho. Still a 20% chance for those and then that cooler air drops into place and that really changes things on Friday. In the meantime, today slightly cooler than we have been, but still well above average. We'll call it warm with afternoon highs in the mid to upper 80s in most valley locations. That chance of afternoon showers popping up again, a 20% chance, so not a high likelihood. West Central Mountains, a slightly better chance of some showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. And afternoon highs that will be a bit cooler than they have been, but still above average. Shooting for 78 in McCall, 88 the afternoon high in Riggins today. East Central Mountains, still relatively warm with that slight chance of showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. 76 your afternoon high in Stanley and in the Magic Valley. Pretty good chance of thunderstorms developing over the highlands here. Could shift over the valley and a little bit of a breeze as that happens. Afternoon highs in the 80s. Quick look at your extended forecast shows our high of 86 today. 72 tomorrow with the front moving through and then Friday 66 for your afternoon high. By Sunday we're back into the 70s.